好了，我欢迎大家来参加这个场，这这个 session。那时间快要到了，所以我们现在就准备要开始。那第一个 talk， 我们就请到台科大的伊恩来帮我们分享一下，给我们一些 overview 跟一些介绍，就关于关于 o r e n 这个这个 project 它的它背后的 community 跟整个架构相关的东西。这样，那诶、欸，大家如果有有问题的话，我们把尽量留到就是他他 talk 讲完之后，我们会留大概五分钟的时间，让大家可以做做一些。做一些 sharing， 呃，就就一些那个那个讨论这样子。那呃，因为时间也差不多了，所以大概再等一个一两分钟，我们就准备要开始了这样子。嗯、这边除了秀吉之外，还有谁是 speaker 的吗？不是 ，OK OK， 因为他等等等其他 speaker 来。是。OK OK OK。OK， should we start？ One minute。Okay, it's the time for uh, for we to start the session. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, let me introduce myself first. Uh, but first of all, thank you to attending this session. My name is Ian Joseph Chandra. I am from Indonesia, and I am the student in here. I am the PhD candidates in this uh, in NTUSD, and I'm helping my professor to uh, to present the projects in the 5G, especially in the ORAN. <coughs> yes, my lab. I'm work uh, right now. I'm uh, behalf of broadband multimedia wireless lab this is the lab inside the department of electronic and computer engineering tensor Kong and yeah and in and, and TST but before we going uh, more detail into what I will be present may I know for the audience are you are you a student or maybe are you an expert in company may I know maybe from student a bachelor or master's uh, so, so freshman, oh, bachelor, uh, undergraduate, undergraduate. How many undergraduate here? One, one, two, oh, for you, masters in NTSD, NYCU, okay, for the master in NTU, a uh, Taita, oh, one person in Taita, NTSD. NYCU, NYCU, and you from NTU. Okay, welcome and thank you for attending this session. So I will ad try to adjust my talk to be suitable for the student level. Okay. Yeah, this is a briefly of my profile. I finished my degree from Indonesia before at 2020 for my bachelor degree, uh, bachelor of engineering, and also I continue my masters here and I already finished it in 2022 last year. Uh, right now, I'm the candidate for the PhD. I will start my PhD, and I already uh, working for my lab for around uh, the, the past one year. And in my lab, I'm working my pro uh, for my professor to develop and research in 5G and also 6G. So this is my professor, uh, Chen Rai Kuang. If you know, if you know him, he is. Oh, you know him. <laughs> where where did you know him before? Oh, okay. So you must be uh, quite familiar. What is the content for my talk? Hopefully, okay. So so yeah, he, uh, he's the dis distinguished professor in here, and the expert for uh, wireless communication, starting from five G and also wireless. But uh, right now, since our lab is contributing as the uh, as the one of the Taiwan lab for the developing the ORAN. Uh, for in the 5G, so we focus on the broadband multi uh, broadband 5G uh, research in in here. 
and I'm on behalf of, of the Oran Alliance and also the Oran software community. Try, I will try to describe what is it, and hopefully it can help for all of us. So this is also the contributors in our lab, the master students and also the uh, PhD students over here. We have some sponsors for this project, starting from the NSTC, National Science uh, Tech of Technology and Council from Taiwan, and also from Compel, Chunghua Telecom, uh, Chunghua Telecom Lab, Yaorei, Triple I, I3, Viavi, Nokia, Intel, Redisys, UV Space, Keysight, and also Balorant from Europe. So the outline, I will try to briefly uh, explain what is RAN, uh, Radio Access Network, in 5G. And also I try to briefly, what is the difference between ORAN Alliance and also ORAN Software Community. So basically of the RAN, if you know about 5G technology, we will have the RAN. We, uh, 5G is divided by two. The first one is the core, and the second one is the RAN, Radio Access Network. Or maybe some, uh, some of you will say it like uh, base station. So RAN is the base station, it's the same. And from since 2019, we're starting to develop the open source version because we want to, uh, for example, if, if a telecom company buy, buy, buy the RAN, RAN equipment from a brand, a single brand, they will not be able to integrate. For example, if I buy it from Nokia, we will not be able to integrate it with the Ericsson version. So we, wa we want to uh, break through this lock to be open source. So, so any kind of uh, equipment from any other brands can join. We can integrate each other. Uh, s and yeah, that's the purpose of the open source. And also, this, the second one, we want to enhance the development and also the research in the ORAN, in the RAN. So the challenge is for starting from how we can train, train the people that want to develop 5G. And the second one, how we can improve the security, the security of the uh, network, and also the innovation inside using, for example, using AI, using a cloud base, and any other things. Right now we have uh, some development in Kubernetes as well for the 5G, and also the for the 6G. So in the past, this is the architecture for the broadband. This is the 4G, and usually it will be separated by two. We have the mobile core, this is all servers, and we have the base station, or we used, used to be called E not B in here. And if a person having a, some, uh, a call, the direction will be, okay, the data will be sent, the signal will be sent to the uh, uh, base station, and the base station will have a connection line to the mobile core over here. But this is the old technology. Uh, the purpose of the base station is we have the uh, business, uh, business, uh, wait, oh, sorry, operation for, uh, we have, we separated by two. This is for, for the base station, we'll de they will manage the operation system, the operation system and the business system. What we call business, for example, how we can manage the uh, the package, for example, if you if you buy some quota uh, for for one uh, for a month, maybe you can only have one gigabyte. So they all maintain in here. How we can handle data? How can we handle the the package package tracing from A to B? It will handled all by the base station over here. But since we uh, and the base station itself is separated by two, the first one is the radio unit, the antenna is over here. And the second one, we have a server to handle the package, manage, uh, the package management from the antenna going through the mobile core. But this is, for, this is only for, for the 4G. How about the 5G generation? In the 5G generation, we would like to enhance the quality over here. Before, uh, the base station will, on, will have the antenna and the server below. See the server over here, the best ba we call it baseband unit. But right now in the 5G, we want to centralize the baseband unit. For example, uh, in the past, one base station will have one antenna and also one, one uh, baseband unit. So if we have 100 base station, we will have 100 antenna and also 100 baseband unit. Of course, the cost, the cost will be so much higher. But right now, we want to split this site to be centralized, even cloud base. That's why we split it in here. So this is the antenna, and it will be split 
connecting via optical fiber from the antenna to the these are the best best, un, best band unit but already split it single server single server single server single server before it's everything become one but in here everything becomes single server so the quality of the package management the control management is become much better in here i will not going into detail about this one for example what is this what is, uh, maybe just a brief uh, in the 5g we, we will handle several algorithm for example scheduling how can okay a and b want to connect to the want to have a phone call we need to schedule the time for for the calling in here so this is the scheduling the central unit will handle the uh, will handle the data for example you are you are browsing youtube the data will go over here for the data data uh, data transmission and in here for the control for example okay you have your quota is limited for only maybe 100 megabyte so it's controlled by this one your ip address and also controlled by this one so this is the basic of the 5g right now and we, for the 5g development from here of course we are developing this one using uh standards usually the standards will be the 3gpp before uh we we use the 3gpp standards that may be in de uh, deployed in many telco companies like chunghua or maybe ericsson nokia and any other things they're using the 3gpp specs but right now we are trying to move to oran specs so oran is adapting the 3gpp to be open and e even enhancing the enhancing the for a moment okay sorry let's continue so oren is the new the, the newest specs that having the op, uh, having the open source characteristic from this one we enhance to be become this one maybe uh, the difference is right now we have ai here a radio intelligent controller we have ai development for the for the 5g base stations and uh, uh, there are two ai one and two the real-time and also the non-real-time ai so we hope in the future the bef, the the 5g technology can be uh developed uh with uh with automation using ai and what is actually oran alliance so this is the profile of Oran Alliance, the open source community that we join right now. So it's founded in 2018 in German and it has the merging several uh, RAN forum from the Syrian Alliance. Uh, maybe I will skip this one. But this uh, the Oran Alliance is the big open source that that cooperate with the tip another open source for the 6G and also several several big companies for Telco companies also join in the Oran Alliance. There are 32 mo mobile app operators and also 30, uh, 30, uh, 335 companies in total. And for the organization itself, we uh, there are se several groups inside the Oran Alliance and th three focus groups. I will explain in more detail. Mm. Okay, let's here. So the Oran Alliance is the big, uh, the big community. So it inside we separate the working group into eleven. What kind of topic do you do you want to uh, to research in in uh, in the in the five G open source? We have, for, uh, for example, use case. We have AI development in here. There are two working groups for the AI development because these two separate in, uh, by two because the use case is different. For the first one, we need the fast AI. The second one, we need the big, uh, big processing AI, so we separate it. And we have the front hall. Front hall is the the the, the part that connecting from the antenna to the servers. This we focus on the interface and also security. This one. And how about if we want to deploy the the 5G into the cloud cloud environment? And also some uh, okay, mm, open front hall and also codification. We can continue, and we have three focus groups in here. The first one is the where they are uh, spe uh, specify the standards or the specification for the 5G, and the the second one when we have 
to work together with the other engineers to testing the environment within the servers and how to integrate between labs. And the second one, how we can uh, open source focus group to deploy the, our work from the testing and integration into, into, the, into the world. And we also have one research group. This is where maybe many professors, many experts will try to think uh, the future works for the Auren and uh, for the 5G and 6G. What the things that we need to develop, for example, okay, we have Kubernetes, we have AI. How to develop more? How to save the energy using the uh, using the AI as well? So uh, from here, from this structure. From this structure, okay, this, this is how we working as a working group. For working group one, they will try to take a look the use case of each part. This is the part of 5G. The SMO is the dashboard. Once again, this is the AI. This is the dat data, data processor. This is the scheduler. And also, this is the transmitter of the antenna. So each working group will focus on each part, for example, working group two will focus on the AI for the for the big or the heavy load processing. The working group three will focus on the uh, high speed AI, high speed transmission. Working group, okay. Working group five will focus on the audio or the scheduler, and working group four will focus on the radio unit or the transmission, the antenna, and many other working groups for here. Okay, what is the difference between Oran Alliance and Oran Software Community? If the Oran Alliance is the big, uh, big, uh, big community or big organization, OSC is inside inside the Oran Alliance. So our job in here is to develop the specs that uh, specified by the by the Oran Alliance. For example, oh, we need to create some algorithm. We need to create some AI. So we are the one who develop this one. So this is the profile of Oran Software Community, yeah, developed by 2019, and our lab, uh, NTST and also NYCU, already joined this community since how many years? Four, four years ago. So we are uh, funded by the Oran Alliance or, or, and also Linux Foundation. So we have two big uh, community above uh, the OSC. Uh, okay, so we skip this one. I think I, need, I will skip this one. And in the OSC, we are cooperating with not only for with the university, but many other uh, big companies also join to develop the or, the Orange the or, uh, the Orange software in here. For example, we have Chunghua Telecom Lab, and also Nokia, Ericsson, and Redisys, and also Intel. In here, so for, exa for example, we have several specs in here, right? This is the specs that developed by the Oran Alliance, and we have several companies that are uh, working to develop this one as well. For example, for the AI, Nokia also developed the AI for this part. Redis is, is for the scheduler for the 5G. Intel also developed the scheduler. And many, many other things. We have China Mobile and also Ericsson. And also Samsung in here for the, for the AI and, and also machine learning platform. So this is Taiwan's contributors for uh, in Taiwan we have we have national Taiwanese uh, us the NTSD and also NYCU we are uh, actively develop the Oran specs and we also have partners from Yaorei Yaorei is the company that uh, focus on the security we have some testing security for example uh, the Lyron is the company that have the radio unit they are fabricating the antenna for the 5G. And we also have Intel that developing the scheduler and also the, the server for the 5G. And also VIV Solution, this is the test the testing company for, for they have the simulator, the simulator for 5G. So if a company want to test the algorithm, their new services, the uh, the will help us to test their algorithm. Also Chunghua Telecom and the Chunghua Telecom Lab and the, in the in the past Compel also developed the Oran. Uh, the new the new, the newest one is the Nokia. This is for the layer four, the transport layer. They, they, they want to open their service for the Oran specs. And where we can find the, if you can scan the QR code, this is the source for if you want to learn more about the Oran specs. 
and also what we have de developed right now inside the OSC. Maybe I can try to click this one. Yes, yeah, so, so this is the dashboard for us to share what our work from the source code, the specs, and the working groups. For, for example, if you're interested in um, presentation projects, partnerships. For example, this one. We have several projects in here. For, for example, AI. If you want to know more about the AI, you can click here and also try to try to contact who's the person in charge for this project and you can have uh, you can contact them in, in email and you can join uh, have some research joint project in here okay so if you want to know more about the OSC we can have uh, we can have more Q&A in the in uh, after this talk and and for right now we already have about eight release of the version of the codes the source code we are starting from 2019 and each year we try to have new release and for example a new algorithm a new ai a new integration result and for our lab actually we are not working alone with taiwan only actually we have another lab in usa one in the new new jersey and one in the california but we have uh, for the Taiwan lab we are quite unique because for the other two they are for the other two actually they are uh, not not education based so they they are not able to integrate with they are not able to cooperate with Okay, sorry. Let's continue. So the difference between uh, the Taiwan lab, that NTSD and NYCU, with the, the USA lab, uh, they are. Let me show this one. For this one, uh, how to say? Uh, they are enterprise version. That so they they cannot. The difference is as you can see. For us, we can uh, cooperate with many other co co uh, operator or maybe uh, other companies, but they are cannot because they have some license uh, some license they're protected for us since we are education based we can open we can cooperate with uh, any other parties in here so we have some uh, opportunities and benefits for the taiwan lab for this one this is just uh, the next the research topic that we want to develop for starting from 5g and also 6g for the future for example, if, how about if you want to develop the AI, how to you want to develop the architecture to be more efficient, how we, we also, so this is the research topic, there are eight from the requirements, the architecture, the AI, the security, for example, uh, if you know in the 5G we have the, the uh, denial of service attack, so in, in our lab we also test that, how to prevent the DOS attack, what is the impact of the DOS attack, for example, so this is the Research research topic for number security and also how to manage the manage the uh, network cross domain for example from the RAN into the optical fiber sustainable sustainability for example how to uh, make the energy more the energy consumption consumption becomes more efficient for the 5G uh, environment. So okay, this is just more detail. I will skip this one. So for the timeline, we already finished several research from the requirement, architecture, and also machine learning, and also security. Right now, we are in, the, in this phase. And for, for in Taiwan, we are not only co uh, cooperate with the companies, but also our government also support us. We have so-called NSTC, the, Ni the National Science of Taiwan Council. We, we are sponsored in the B5G and 6G projects. So in these projects, we have five professors that uh, from NYCU and also NTSD. If from NYCU, if you know Professor Su, T.Y. Su, I don't know whether you know him. And in our, in our university, we have Professor Cheng Rei Kuang. This is my professor that focus on the layer two and at layer three and how to integrate the specs for the ORAN. We have Professor Professor Liu that's focused on the 
dashboard for the management and also for the uh, AI learning in for the 5G. We also have virtualization, for example, how to deploy the, once again, how to deploy the uh, 5G, uh, 5G, uh, 5G environment into the cloud base, for example, Kubernetes. This is uh, Professor Chen from NYCU. And the, la the, la uh, the, la uh, the, latest, the latest one is Pro Professor Ma, who developed about the security. Okay, mm so for example, this is for the 6G, the, fi uh, the 5G and the 6G. Uh, we def we try to develop the cloud base using Kubernetes and also Docker, and we al also try to have the smart management using the AI in here. So we separate it from the software. How how can from the hardware level can be connected to the software level and be connected into the system integrator using the AI? For example, if you want to deploy aut automatically uh, 100 base station using the Kubernetes, we can do that in the future. Okay, this is just for the, we can skip this one. And in our lab, in OSC Taiwan lab right now, for the 5G, we try to integrate not only from the ORAN, ORAN devices, ORAN, ORAN softwares, but we also try to have multi-vendor integration. For example, in here we have the commercial version of the ORAN, the, the the cloud-based ORAN called Berberan. This is the product from the Eurocom from Europa. And we also try to integrate between the OSC version of code be between the OAI version of code. Th this one is from the OSC. This one is from the Eurocom. So we try to integrate uh, many open sources, not only from OSC, but with other open source as well. Yeah, this is just some demo that maybe I can show. Program this is the result for our product. CU underscore stub is a we can skip. So this is how we run. We run the, the code to the to the, to the, the Ubuntu to the server. The to the I will skip this one. This is how module. when 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 the server works sending the data. The dummy data to ODU. Last and we can try to have ODU a management tool over here the as well. Of each so in here we are testing a scheduler policy, that's, uh, and, and this is the performance of the scheduler the that we developed in our lab. On so yeah, in summary, our lab is supporting the open source and I believe we already started from 2019 even until now and we are keep growing. And in, in our journey, we know that we cannot uh, we cannot work alone. That's why my professor with the other professors works alone, even with the enterprise. We are working alone to develop this open source. So our quality in the 5G in Taiwan as, uh, especially can be improved. So yeah, that's all my presentation. If you have question and uh, this is the Q and session, we can have questions. Any questions? Maybe several people just come. May I know, uh, are you students or experts from the company? Which one is students? Present? Students. Okay. From NTSD? <laughs> one, two, only two. So, from experts from the company or open source community? One. Okay. So, do you have any questions? Okay. So it actually based on the use case. Maybe I need to go to this one. For example, uh, this is for the near real time AI, right? So some use case, for example, if autonomous vehicle, we need a low latency uh, connection from the car to car, for example. That's why the program, the AI will be developed in here, will be deployed in here. It will be different case, for example, for the non-real-time, uh, for example, energy consu consumption. Energy consumption doesn't need to be real-time, right? We def we track, for example, the CPU states, the CPU power from the servers from the 5G. We collect it in the AI, and we, we try to develop the model, and then the model will try to uh, enhance the power consumption. For example, shut down the the... the shut down the base station that unused in an island, for example. 
that part will be developed in the non real time part. So it's based on the use case. Yes. Yes. Correct. Yeah. For the use case, for example, the uh, autonomous vehicle. Thank you. Any other question, maybe, from the students or maybe from the experts? Or maybe for some students, I know that, uh, eh, but okay, 30 seconds. I know maybe some students will need to have some capstone project or maybe thesis, thesis project for their masters or undergraduate. And for me, as, as a PhD student in my lab, I will, I will open some discussion session maybe after this. If you want to have uh, discuss or more discussion about this topic, you can contact me or maybe contact my professors. And this, and uh, from this email. Clear your dashboard. Okay, maybe that's all my talk. Thank you so much for attending my session. I hope uh, for everyone that uh, interested in in five G can have more insight and knowledge from from us. Thank you. <laughs>